Hey friends, today I am in Busch Gardens, Tampa, Florida to enjoy the Mardi Gras season for 2021. We are going to be trying some New Orleans and Cajun themed food like jambalaya and gumbo and also ride some rides and just enjoy Busch Gardens. So, let's go do this. Bush Gardens actually invited us out to actually take part in the festivities and I wanted to thank them for supplying us with a food and beverage sampler. I'm excited. I love jambalaya. I love beignets and gumbo. So I'm going to try all of it. Before we get to all the Mardi Gras food though, have you ever seen cheetahs actually chasing each other? I'm going to show you because this is pretty amazing. I have never seen cheetahs just roamly. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. That was pretty cool, isn't it? I was really shocked. I've never seen cheetahs like actively running around like that before. So I immediately was just like, oh, I gotta go see this. I can tell by the music we're getting close to the festivities. I just love this time of the year. I am a big Cajun New Orleans style food fanatic. So I'm gonna be comparing a lot of the food here tonight to Universal Studios when they officially start their Mardi Gras season. And I'm excited to just see which one is better I'm also intrigued to see if they're going to be tossing any beads. I mean, I feel like that's going to be a difficult thing, but a lot of places have come up with plans to actually make it safe and sanitary. So we'll see. I'm excited. I think we're actually going to start off by getting a drink, something from the Big Easy Taps, and then maybe catch one of the live performances. They got Purple Haze, Strawberry Lager, maybe this Southern Pecan Nut and Brown Ale. Oh, I like it. Look at this nice pecan brown ale. Very dark. I'm excited to see what this tastes like. Perfect to enjoy a little New Orleans music. Cheers. That's delicious. is really amazing they actually drove all the way down here from Louisiana to perform here at Bush Garden so they're really bringing the Mardi Gras spirit in but now I've come to the point where I can get some gumbo and braised brisket Cajun spiced oh boy this is going down I am so hungry and ready for this I want the gumbo I most definitely am gonna be getting the gumbo and the brisket the other day I was trying to experiment and make homemade gumbo and it didn't come out so good so I gotta see how the professionals do it. I need some good old gumbo and I'm not saying this is probably gonna be the best gumbo but I'm excited to see what it tastes like. I'm sure it's better than the stuff that I threw away. Oh my lord guys this is amazing. I've never even thought about having a gumbo biscuit or a brisket biscuit. I'm joined up with some friends Jackie super enthused and Micah World of Micah they actually got the old-fashioned and the gumbo where i decided to get the brisket and the gumbo so i'm uh, definitely going a lot more towards the food where normally i would definitely be getting a drink but i just love this food so much so like that's how much this is how you know <laughs> and that's how you know when i'm not getting the drink i'm getting two of the food items that's how you know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna try the gumbo first. Oh boy. This is such an amazing combination. You know, normally I'd get the gumbo with some rice, but throwing it on a biscuit, that's taking it another level for me. I can't wait to dive into this too because this is also on a biscuit. Maybe I should just tuck well, in there real I'm quick. I'm digging into the biscuit. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to let you know which one I think is better, but I mean, they're both probably going to be amazing. It's yeah, tough my... to say which one's better, but this gumbo is amazing and the brisket is the perfect texture. So maybe I'm going to do this and this and I'm going to live dangerously. Ooh. <laughs> We're gonna call it the New Orleans Mingle. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Micah got some shrimp and grits and then some impossible jambalaya. I have a feeling I'm gonna get both of those. In fact, I have a feeling I'm probably gonna eat a lot of food today. A lot. 
it's cool to point out they have regular jambalaya and then impossible jambalaya so they have different options for different people and i'm excited to try the shrimp and grits because that looked amazing right inside the garden gate is the bayou grub and this is where they got the shrimp and the grits the jambalaya and a couple different daiquiris and pina coladas as well i might actually just get a tampa vice to go with my shrimp and grits and jambalaya i feel like we are really starting out very strong and like getting a lot of food and i like that i'd rather get as much food and eat as much as i could now then have some drinks and some beignets and then maybe ride some rides i think that's a good way to go look at these beautiful things i am so excited the shrimp and grits looks phenomenal and then even the jambalaya like i don't want to like ruin the perfect little scoop but i'm gonna break it down just to get a look on the inside oh wow look at that much too good i didn't decide on getting the impossible one but micah and jackie both are getting the impossible one so you can check that out for if you were like vegan and you want to see what their thoughts are but i'm gonna try the shrimp and grits first I don't want to drop the shrimp. I don't want to. I have to say, I really enjoy this actual shrimp and grits, but I like the shrimp more than I do this sausage. Still though, oh wait, I gotta try the jambalaya. I'm getting ahead of myself here. <laughs> Whoa boy, oh wow, look at that. Everything's good. This is the perfect combination right here because you get a little chicken, a little shrimp, and a little rice all in one bite. If it can stay on the fork. <laughs> it's all about balance. You got this. So, oh boy. You don't know how many times I try to get everything on one bite and then it falls off at the last second, like it's about to happen maybe right now. I have to say out of all the food items we just tried, the winner has to be the gumbo and biscuit. It was so good, I'm sorry. Number one, close second is the jambalaya. Third, probably is a tie between shrimp and grits and the brisket. So good, so amazing so far. I didn't think I could get in here and just be able to eat so quickly. There were like so many good items at each location. We really went to three and they had multiple choices where I was like, I gotta try both of them. So that's how we ended up doing that. It's starting to get a little dark out and the lights are turning on. The music is coming alive. Yeah. I like those hats. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh, and we're finally gonna be able to catch some beads! We're in the bead garden! Look at this! Oh boy, I'm so excited. This is such a fun way to throw beads. This is like really nice. There's one. Oh. Hi friends! Hi! I'm ready to catch some beads. All right, let's do it. Have yep. Okay, here we go. All right. Number one. Number one. Thank you. Oh, oh wait, I have a good idea. Now let's see if you can try to rope it onto the camera. Yeah. This is challenging here. Go ahead, you can do this. I can't deal with the pressure. The pressure is on. Come on. Oh! All right, now here it is. No, uh, you made it. It's okay. Oh, you can try again. Yeah, yeah. You got this. I think you got to like spread it out a little bit. Yeah, like this. Yeah. It's like shooting a basketball. Oh, there we go. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh. All right, you gotta try. Here we go. She's got the right position. There we go. Yay! Here. Oh, look at that, I did good. You did so good. I got that more beads was... than you did. <laughs> did. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> now I think it's time for some beignets. <laughs> I don't know if you can choose or if you get all three of them, but it looks like we have powdered sugar, bourbon caramel, and rum glazed banana foster. Either way, they look amazing. Look at all these beignets. Thank you. You have a tough job. We got the Banana Fosters ones. Here they are. I got the Banana Foster beignets. Now, the thing with eating beignets is you usually get covered in powdered sugar. So I'm going to try to avoid doing that by eating with a spoon, not a fork. The reason why that is is because they didn't have any forks. So we're going to try to make this happen. 
They look amazing though. Oh, God. oh boy, this is gonna be tough. <laughs> Wait, what is I? I don't know how I'm gonna make this work. I'm just gonna like you stab it with the spoon. They didn't have any forks. No. Uh oh, this is gonna work. It's too long for them because I want to go get them too. Oh. This might be the most difficult thing I've eaten here. I'm gonna try. <laughs> oh boy. Uh -huh. These are absolutely delicious, but don't let them sit too long because they soak up all of that banana foster stuff and they actually get like a soggy donut. They don't want that. Nobody wants a soggy beignet. So you gotta actually eat them pretty quick. Maybe ask for the sauce on the side. That might be fancy. I feel like those beignets did me in. I don't think I can eat any more. So instead, we came up to where the live entertainment was. We're gonna have some drinks and wait for the parade because there is a really fancy parade. And we're just gonna enjoy a little bit of just the Mardi Gras atmosphere here. It's so relaxed. And I actually decided on getting a strawberry abita. And this is just like a really fun atmosphere, right? You're agree, you're the same thing. I'm having fun. Cheers! <laughs> As it gets darker out, more lights are turning on, and it's looking so festive in here. I absolutely love all the colors. Not to mention, Bush Gardens colors are already purple and green, so it fits perfectly with New Orleans and Mardi Gras. Joining up with us today is Promise and Travis, too. Hey, happy Mardi Gras. Look how festive this looks. So colorful, isn't it? Wow, you can see all the up lighting turning on on all the trees and especially over here. Watching Promise try to eat beignets right now is hysterical. Look at this. The dedication not to get sugar. She did it! Yeah! Bye, <laughs> Next, I think we're gonna end up getting ourselves a hurricane and then also one of the signature jello shots that come in a syringe. These are actually popular during Hollow Scream and we get them every time, but this time you get souvenir beads with them. Oh! What's the good one with lemon or lime? Oh! oh what is this? Oh my gosh, that's so fancy. It will come with whipped cream. Oh my God, that's so pretty. All right, I'll take that one maybe. Okay. We decided on getting the Hurricanes, but I didn't get a syringe. I got the Jello shot that came like this and it has whipped cream and an edible straw. Jackie, you got the syringe. You got the syringe. And we got the full size with the special Mardi Gras cup, which I think is very fancy. And they came with a shot glass like bead. This is a whole lot of stuff, I think. Like, wow, right? I don't even know what to say. I don't even know how this I, happened. I literally don't know what to say. <laughs> so I guess I'm gonna sip the jello shot and then yeah. eat the straw? Yeah. Are you ready? No, wait. <laughs> no, not ready. Okay, ready. Ready. Oh, God. Nothing is coming out. <laughs> There's nothing coming through this straw. You gotta eat it. <laughs> The, the, the straw is delicious. It doesn't taste like alcohol. It's just the so straw is delicious. Jello. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. Uh, I'm gonna swap it over here, and then I'm just gonna shoot it out of the glass. I think the parade's coming though. I gotta finish this. <laughs> oh boy! Oh, it is a crawfish! Yeah! That is so cool! Hey! <laughs> Look at the way the crawfish is dancing! <laughs> How? Happy Mardi Gras! Happy Mardi Gras! <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, and yeah, here goes the confetti. Oh yeah, the vacuum. 
say goodbye. Oh no. There it goes. From Universal Mardi Gras. Goodbye, confetti. Now I think we're actually gonna head over and ride some rides, but first, we need to do a group picture. You know? I think that's fun. You ready? I'm gonna hit it then. Ten seconds, go! I don't know where to go. Uh oh. <laughs> I think that was it. Yay! Now I think I'm gonna do my first ride here. I'm so excited. Cobra's Curse. Wow, this queue actually has cobras in it. Holy moly. Wow, this is fancy. I really feel like I'm at the mummy. Oh, here we come. That was a super, super fun ride. I couldn't film on it, but it actually lifts up like this way and then drops you almost into the mouth of the cobra. I guess that's why they call it Cobra's Curse. This is a really awesome ride, actually. And with that, I think I am done here today. I had so much fun. Thank you so much to Bush Gardens inviting us out to check out all of the Mardi Gras festivities. I ate so much food and enjoyed great company with friends. I'll put everyone's channel in the description below, but it's such an amazing time. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. King of Mardi Gras, out.